at the Pop Warner National Championships in Orlando, Florida with the head coach of the Richmond Giants, uh, Coach Eddie Alford. And what I'm going to do is going to talk about uh, Coach Alford's season a little bit just as he goes into the championship game. Coach, uh, what has separated you maybe from some other teams that didn't make it quite this far? I think experience. Experience was a big issue when we came in. We had a lot of close games, but deep down the stretch, uh, we made a few plays they didn't. We had a lot of close games, but I think the experience of being here before and not getting rattled late in the game and uh, making some good calls. Okay. What's been your biggest challenge this season, Coach? Uh, just having an X on your back. You know what I mean? By winning it last year on the junior midget level, a lot of people base their season as you're their game of the year, and uh, they do a lot of extra work to make sure they see what you're doing. And it was very prepared, each each opponent. And then also, you just play a lot of talent coming out of Florida. Okay. Well, Coach, uh, if you were to give advice to maybe a, a team that hasn't been to the uh, to the championships before, even down here to Florida, the Pop Warner National Championships, what advice would you give that coach? Preparation. Preparation and being very detailed on all aspects of the game. Um, special teams, offense, defense, you know, working your uh, mandatory play kids, making sure every kid is playing. Because uh, those are the things, the little things that get you beat. Not the big things, the little things are the ones that are going to get you beat. So um, I would say just preparation on all aspects of the game and being ready for anything that arises. NPR strategy is huge at this level, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Major, major. You can play someone that's just as talented as you are. And late in the game, in a tight 0 6 6 game, down 8 6, uh, you got to put a lot of kids in who not, don't have the experience as your starters and give up a play you don't need late in the game. Well, Coach, we know that you probably do a lot of things uh, that, that uh, a lot of these guys do correctly and probably do it extraordinarily well. But uh, if you could just maybe give one tip to a youth football coach out there, maybe something you guys do just a little bit different than everybody else that maybe you'd be willing to share for just uh, some of us first-time coaches out there. Work online. Work online. That's the hardest thing to do, get kids to play online. Everybody got skilled, quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, PBs, but work your O-line. Make sure you give a lot of time to O-line. Kid won't, won't block if you don't know what he's doing. Great job, Coach. Good luck today. Winning Youth Football here with Mark McDaniels with the Oak Ridge Colts from uh, just north of Greensboro, North Carolina. They're getting ready to play for the Pop Warner Midget National Championships, and I'm here with Coach Mark. And I just want to ask Coach, uh, what kind of offense and defense do you guys run? Well, we run a very set. We run a wishbone, a try. We run a shotgun. We run what we call a T-bow offense. Uh, so we, we Direct snaps direct and single snaps, wing stuff? Single wing stuff and uh, uh, throw the ball out of that, throw the ball out of the wishbone. So uh, we run various offensive sets. How about defensively? Defensively, we're in a 4-3, uh, blitz a lot, blitz the safeties, blitz the outside linebackers, blitz the corners. Uh, we do some uh, stunts up inside and outside, so uh, we try to vary it, mix it up, fuse the uh, offensive set. What's been the biggest challenge for you guys this, this season, Coach? Well, uh, getting here is pretty tough. You got a, This is the second time we played for the national title. We played for the national title last year and uh, got beat in the national championship game. So, uh, you know, getting them re-engineered and ready to go uh, to come back. Uh, we had a couple of tough games in the regular season. We came back uh, from uh, being down two touchdowns at halftime against our arch rival, and then we ended up beating them 24 nothing in the championship game. Uh, the biggest thing is, is uh, keeping them focused. Uh, when you're down here, there's a lot of things that are very distracting. Uh, they've been very business-like, uh, so we're, we're feeling real good about what we're doing. Coach, what do you guys do that's maybe uh, sets you apart from some other teams? There's a lot of teams out there that love to be where you are. What sets you all apart, maybe practice-wise or methodology-wise or, or preparation-wise that maybe makes you different than other youth football teams out there? Well, we let our kids do their own adjustments uh, during the game, wow. uh, both offensively and defensively. Uh, we've got a quarterback who's kind of a coach on the field, and our defensive adjustments can be made without asking permission. Uh, they can see the field. They know what's going on. They can feel the power, the lack of it. Uh, they'll find a weak spot and exploit it. Uh, sometimes you can't see that from the sidelines. So we encourage them to uh, be innovative and creative on their own. Uh, and that's been very, very uh, helpful. We've only given up 46 points all year in 14 football games. So it's, it's worked very well. Let me get this straight, Coach, real quick. You teach the adjustment, but but once the, the boys recognize the keys for that adjustment, they're allowed to make that move on their own. Is that correct or not? Without any information with the sideline. Okay, fantastic. I just wanted to make sure the other coaches didn't realize they're just not free for all and out there. You've taught them the adjustments, and then they're looking at the key and making those adjustments on their own. Exactly. Okay. One last thing, Coach. Maybe for a youth football coach that hasn't been to Orlando before, what's what's maybe something you all do just a little bit different? Obviously, this adjustment thing's a lot different than what most do. What other thing maybe? practice-wise or game-wise, you folks do this just a lot different than maybe some of the other teams out there. Well, uh, we encourage players to encourage other players to come to our team. 
Uh, they've got a goal, a single mission, uh, and we work their rear ends off. I mean, and what we do, uh, believe it or not, the players do their own conditioning drills, uh, and they'll work themselves harder than we would work them. Uh, it's, uh, what we do is we, we teach the creativity of the individual players working as a unit. Uh, and they know they got to be in shape. They know the fourth quarter in championship games, many times when it games one lost. Uh, and what we do is, is that we see kids that have that similar philosophy. And uh, that's what we've been able to do these last years. Fantastic, Coach. Good luck today. I'm here with Coach Lottie Helms from the Watkins Hornets football in the Washington, D.C. area. They just got done winning the national championship here at uh, Orlando. We're going to talk to Coach really quickly about uh, his season. Coach, what were your biggest challenges getting here, getting to Orlando? Uh, Eastern region, very tough. Uh, we played uh, White Oak Warriors, who was the defending national champions out of the Junior Pee Wee division last year. Uh, we, we beat we one up game in overtime. Great, Coach. What kind of offense and defense do you run? Uh, we run a 4-4. That's our base defense, but we came here today. We knew they, that they passed the ball a lot, so we ran a 5-2 defense. Uh, offensive side of the ball, um, we ran more of a power eye affirmation. Uh, we knew we could beat them up front. Okay. Well, Coach, what do you think separated you from maybe some of the teams that didn't make it to Orlando? What's special about your team? Uh, one, one good thing, I visited here, um, just came to visit to see how Pop Warner uh, Super Bowl really was. I visited here twice, and when I went back the third time, I knew what it takes to uh, get down here. Okay. So, I, so basically, if you need to come down here, you need to visit here just to see what it's all about. Great. Well, Coach, it's very odd for a team first time down here to win it all the way. C congratulations. One last thing, Coach. If uh, I'm sure you guys do the fundamentals extraordinarily well. I know you guys run between the tackles well, Coach. But uh, if, if you could maybe share one thing that maybe you do just a little bit different than other Pop Warner teams out there, what would it be? Is there anything that you do just a bit different that you'd like to share with some of your coaches, maybe one of your little secrets that you use from practice or uh, that you'd like to pass along? One of the strengths we have, uh, we call it, which is a wedge. Um, yeah, that, that brings the team more of a group because we need all ten guys helping each other. So that's one special, one of our special players. Okay, I'm here in Orlando at the Pop Warner National Championships, visiting with John Rudisil. He's the head coach of the Stanley Blue Devils, and they just got done winning the Division II Junior Pee Wee National Championships. And I just wanted to ask Coach John. Uh, did your kids have a blast this week? I mean, just talk a little bit about maybe what kind of fun your kids had uh, in, in Orlando outside of the football experience. Uh, they've had a tremendous time. Some of these kids have never been out of the state of North Carolina and probably never get a chance to come down here in their life. And they've just been uh, all struck by everything Disney has to offer and the ones that have been here before just having a tremendous Tremendous time. It's just been a wonderful experience for me. Well, Coach, I know you've been around the block and had teams down here before. What separated this team from maybe some of the other teams that you competed against? What what made this team a national championship caliber team? This team, uh, I know it's a cliche, but there's not many teams I've ever had that had the heart of this team. They just would refuse to lose. Our offense, we, we live off offense. Uh, but today, the offense, we just couldn't get it going. And... Uh, they just bat down the hatches on defense and just refuse to let the other team uh, move the ball. Fantastic. Well, we hope to see you at the Nike Coach of the Year Clinic in Orlando. But hold up that trophy, Coach. Let's see that real quick. Fantastic job, and, and hope we see you next year, Coach. Thank you.